attention to that. Well, in this case, we're going to be learning the product rule when I get back. But again, uh, you know, we, I provided a problem like this because even if you know the product rule, you probably wouldn't want to do the product rule you know, based on this. You guys should be able to um, simplify this problem. You guys should be able to multiply this out with really not much ease just by doing a, a FOIL. You would x squared plus or x cubed plus x squared plus 2x squared plus 2x. Y equals um, x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x. Oh, and again, the problem is write the tangent line tangent to our equation going through the point 1, 6. So now I have my equation line. Now it's simplified. Now it's, much e now it's really easy to use the power rule, right? So I've simplified it, which I told you to do in that last quiz. Simplified it, divide by a variable, multiply, whatever you need to do. And therefore, now we can simply, um, now we can simply uh, um, take the derivative. And so therefore, I'd have 3x squared plus 6x plus 2. Now again, that's my derivative, but what they're looking for is finding the value of finding the equation line through that point. Remember, the derivative is the slope at that point. So whatever this function looks like at the point 1, 6, we're looking for the slope. We're looking for that equation of the line. So remember, to write the equation of the line, we need to be able to identify what is our um, slope. We know there's a point. We have 1, 6. To write the equation of the line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We have x1 and y1. We just need to find the slope. So all we need to do to identify the slope is just take in, is just plug in our point into our, tang into our derivative, because that tells us what the slope will be at that given point. So therefore, I'll just take y prime of 1 equals 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 2. You get 3 plus 6 plus 2 equals 11. Therefore, the equation of my line, y minus y1, which is 6, equals 11 times x minus 1. Okay. If you want to set the y by itself, that's fine. That's acceptable. That's acceptable. And then obviously applying the distributive property and simplifying is also acceptable as well. But just note if you make a if you make a arithmetic mistake, you will be marked down. So 